creating a parser for our stack-based programming language. Now you might be asking, what is parsing? Parsing is taking those tokens and dividing them and grouping them into segments. Let's return back to the source code we've been working with. If you recall from my previous video, we divided these in separate tokens. If you didn't watch my previous video, these are the tokens that we divided the source code into. Now to understand this once again, we will draw a parallel to human languages, for example, English. We can look at these pieces of text. Before we understand and define the grammar for our parser, we have to understand what it's actually parsing. Returning back to the text, we need to divide this into a hierarchical structure. Let's classify the entire text as an article. Now we know the article is composed of many different paragraphs. The individual paragraphs now we can classify as, well, paragraphs. Then we can identify the individual pieces of a paragraph, which are called sentences. Now we've defined our grammar. Now if we kind of read this grammar back to us, we know that an article is composed of multiple paragraphs and the multiple paragraphs are composed of multiple sentences. And we know that sentences from our previous video are composed of multiple different tokens. And these are subject, verb, and object. Now finally, we can apply this to our actual source code. Returning back to our source code, we can define this entire piece of code as the program. The program consists of multiple statements. And those statements are composed with a keyword and an optional parameter and a semicolon. Now we can say that a program consists of multiple statements and the statements are composed of a keyword, an optional parameter, and a semicolon. Now we've defined our actual grammar. In the next video, we'll go over the actual code for the parser.